A prominent analyst has officially stated that the XRP bull run has officially begun and or been triggered. The price of XRP currently dedicated to going above its all-time high to $10. But there's a lot that I want to talk about in today's video, specifically the fact that there is also $8.4 billion dedicated to a buyback program for XRP that nobody's talking about. That's not all. Just recently, we have gotten some leaked news revealing that there are over 200 financial institutions that have also just recently partnered with Ripple and all of them are going to be using the Ripple Nut system which is going to be using XRP. In fact there is so much more content but before we jump right into it make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Make sure you also go ahead and actually share the video. That being said let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into today's exciting episode. I want to start off by reading this to you guys. In this tweet it states that the price of XRP over three hours or three days or three weeks or even three months is not the success that you can measure. It's all about success over the next three to five years. And this is by the Ripple CEO and the founder of XRP, Brad Garlinghouse. And most importantly, in a recent interview, he actually talks about how XRP is going to substantially grow specifically now and all the attention that it is accumulating and that we should really expect XRP to go up in value very soon. Let's roll the clips. A crypto winter that, I, as you just suggested, has changed in tone from how the last Davos in terms of just there was a lot of hype, uh, a lot of noise around all things crypto at the last Davos. And I think seeing the change and I actually think it's a really healthy change that there's more focus on utility. Are these technologies are solving real problems? And I think to your your question, you know, I think to the extent there are companies solving real problems for real customers and they're going to continue to grow regardless of the environment. Is there continued contagion? I think you know we're obviously continuing to hear noise uh, about what's going on with DCG and Gemini. Uh, hard to know. It sounds like that, that could work out in a constructive way. I think all of this has not been great for crypto at large, but again, if you just focus on companies that are solving real problems, certainly Ripple had a record 2022. We'd rather see crypto do well at large, but we had a great year, signed up more and more customers and more and more volume going through our payment rail. Now, I know you guys are all curious about the buyback that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and we'll jump right into that after we're done this. This, guys, is quite interesting. Over 200 financial institutions take advantage of XRP to initiate payments without correspondent banking like PNC, Bank of America, and Santander. And if we have a quicker look and a closer look at this article, which is called Duke's Law and Technology Review, it states that payment companies and credit unions take advantage of XRP as a bridge currency, and banks are beginning to use Ripple because it allows them to initiate payments without correspondent banking relationships. Prominent banks such as PNC, Santander, and the Bank of America are Ripple customers as well. And at the very bottom here also says David Floyd Ripple event reveals three companies are now using XRP for real payments. This is the actual coined desk article that you can have a closer look at as well for the source. And at the top here, once again, realizes and recognizes that Ripple as a convenient alternative to the traditional international payment system has over 200 financial institutions that just recently joined Ripple, in addition to the tons of institutions that are continuously and have been continuously using Ripple from the past. And now for the breaking news content that you've all been waiting for, the XRP buyback that over $8.4 billion worth of monetary value that is going to be used for an XRP buyback to buy the XRP back from retail investors is right here. But of course, shameless plug, guys, we have to thank MetalCrypto.com. Make sure you guys do check them out where you can get your own personalized Metal Crypto coins. Like the Ripple XRP coin with case comes in gold and silver. Or their new style XRP coin with case also comes in gold and silver. These look so freaking fantastic. And you can actually get the Stellar XLM coin, also gold and silver. Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, USDT, Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, whatever you want, they have it. In addition to, of course, tons more more of metal crypto coins that you can check out on their website. That being said, make sure you guys do use the link below to get yourself a juicy 10% discount. And without any further ado, let's not waste any more time. But let's get back to the freaking buyback. Let's go. Here's the news. Ripple just bought $8.4 billion worth of XRP starting from the SEC lawsuit first beginning. 
and they claimed that this is to support the healthy markets. In the exact article, it says that Ripple Labs XRP token dropped 20% since the SEC sued the firm. The two top executives also got sued over alleged unregistered security sales back in December 2020. Since then, Ripple Labs has poured billions of dollars into buying back their XRP token on the secondary market. What this means is they are buying back the XRP from the retail investors like me and you from formal exchanges. Some reports have focused on Ripple Labs direct XRP sales in the fourth quarter of 2022. The move to acquire XRP token, ostensibly a bullish indicator, has been trumpeted as boosting the ecosystem's liquidity. Those reports often link to nearly $3 billion worth of in-house sales to XRP's fast-moving 27% pump in January. They have propped up a narrative in which XRP's latest revival has been made all the more notable by the fact that it's played out with uncertain and likely decisive regulatory outcomes hanging in the balance. Now the article is quite long, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys it. If you wanna pause it at any point in time, read the entire thing, feel free to do so. But it also states that as financial institutions leverage the RippleNet's ODL service, more liquidity is added into the XRP market. That said, Ripple has been a buyer in the secondary market and may continue to undertake purchases in the future at market price. It's been shown that to start Ripple Labs was snapping up around $40 million worth of XRP per quarter in Q3 and 4 of 2020. It then took a break until Q4 of 2021 when it ramped up efforts significantly by spending $322 million. Around $1.08 billion spent the first three months of 2022, then $1.71 billion in the following quarter. That expenditure jumped almost 50% in the quarter after that when Ripple reported $2.5 billion a purchase worth of XRP in the secondary market. Also, the last quarter, it spent $2.74 billion on XRP, the price of XRP meanwhile dropping by 30%. Ripple described its buying campaign as a near-term product solution for an XRP lending operation announced in October of 2020. The firm said its Q3 2020 report that it was building new ODL capabilities to dynamically source XRP liquidity from the open market, not just Ripple, hinting that its XRP buys on the secondary market would eventually slow, but its budget for XRP's buyback has only increased. It doesn't get any better than this, guys. This is proof that even Ripple as a company is continuously buying back the XRP and they're willing to pay more and more every single time when they feel like they need be. So when we talk about the XRP buyback program, we have to understand that the buying back of XRP doesn't always have to come from a federal government. It can actually come from private institutions and even the Ripple company itself or the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, which is also the founder of XRP. Another thing that I think is crucial is that the list of the new 10 approved ISO 20022 compliance blockchains have officially been released with Ripple being the number one most compliant. This is absolutely fantastic. This is the Ripple protocol consensus algorithm, RPCA has officially been approved which is great to hear because it proves to us that the financial institutions are going to most definitely be using XRP. It also states that it is cheap per transaction, it is quick per transaction or trans per second, the agnostic exchange token for institution value and cross-border payment settlement ODL plus Turing completed. And it also of course lists a bunch of other coins like XDC, Stellar XLM, Hedra, Algorand and a few others. That's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it or at least learned something Thing. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on, and let me know your thoughts down below. In addition to, of course, make sure you do go ahead and actually follow me on Twitter at CryptoGeekNews, film Instagram at Instagram.com slash CryptoGeekYT, check out MetalCrypto.com, and I'll see you guys in the next CryptoGeek video. Peace.